about a little thought of the day. A little hmm question. Why is bacteria life on Mars? But a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Just a little question. Kind of out there. Excuse me? Can I help you? Nope. What are you filming, my man? Uh, just doing a little documentary. About what? Uh, I can't tell you that. It's, the story would be ruined. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. It's kind of weird filming our building and stuff. Ah. Everything cool? Yeah, everything's good. Just doing a little investigation. Investigation for what? Uh, I can't tell you. Okay. All right. Where are you from? Uh, I can't tell you that either. Was sent here. You were sent here? Yes, sir. All right. Wow. Okie dokie. All right. Cool. Bet you can't tell me your name either, huh? No, sir. What's up, Chuck? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. What's up, Chuck? What's your name? I'm not going to tell you my name if you're not going to tell me yours. How's that work? Uh, What's fair is fair, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I like your hat. Oh, my hat's great. Yeah. Thank you. You believe in the Constitution? 100%. Okay. You know what the First Amendment is? Yeah, I do. What is it? It's the free speech one, right? <laughs> There's five parts to the First Amendment. All right. I don't know by heart. You should. You're an American. See, that right there just shows you've been taking living in this country for granted. You don't know the Constitution? You don't know the Bill of Rights? Uh, I know a little bit of it. I know a little bit of it. Well, you got one of five parts of, part of the First Amendment. Name one more part of the First Amendment. Why do I have to do that? Of the First Amendment? Free speech? What's another one? Uh... Uh, uh, uh. Right to assemble. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> right to assemble, free speech. Oh, I guess I don't know the rest of them. Freedom to record anywhere in public from a public place. Did I ever tell you not to no, record? No, I'm just saying part, part, part of the First Amendment's freedom of media. Yeah, there's just a lot of weird shit happening right now, I'm sure you're aware of, right? So, when someone films my business, I like to ask questions. Yes, sir. I understand that. You know? No, nothing wrong with that. So, I didn't tell you to stop filming. You're clearly where you're allowed to be. Oh, yes, sir. I'll, I'll never ever in my life trespass. So... We're just, uh... The problem is, is that every day we're losing our rights more and more. Hey, man, you're preaching to the choir on that one. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. I'm, an, Ameri a lot of people I'm don't... an American manufacturer. That's great. That hires American workers. That's great. Of all races, color, creeds, sexual orientation... You know what? There, there is no race here. in America. We're all Americans. Correct. Correct. A 
Amer like I said, I hire American workers. Yes. And that's great. So, and you know what I this is going to do? This is going to show. I run, I run a manufacturing business, not only in the United States, which is not an easy task anymore. Exactly. I run one in LA County, California. Okay. Which is even worse. Which is even worse. Yep. I have to pay an amount of money taxes. Fifteen hundred bucks a month for to have my water tested that comes off of the roof from God. <laughs> That's LA County for you. Well, it's ra it's racketeering is what it is. It is. It's racketeering. Yes, it is. I didn't build this building. I you know this build was this building was built in the sixties. I didn't build this building, but whatever comes out of its storm drains out of its gutters and runs down here, I have to test and I have to pay a service to certify that test. I think 12 to 1500 bucks a month. See, and that's just one thing. See, that, 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 that is a source of racketeering <coughs> right there. So, and now, with all the boats sitting off the coast, you know, they're gonna need people like us. Yep. They're gonna need people like us who are still manufacturing in California, in the United States. You know, there's nothing better than U.S. built products. It's pretty sad as far as, you know, I love California. I was born and raised here. I was born in West Covina, 1975. Born oh, you're a youngster. Here. What's that? You're a youngster. Born you're and raised 46 here. 46 years old? Yes, sir. Born and raised here in 1975. Uh, I love California. I love my beach. I love my desert. I love my mountains. I love okay, I have a question. Have you done the California trifecta? What's that? Motocross? surf and ski in one day two of three okay i've done it five times two of three i've uh i've surfed and snowboarded in the same day more than once yes we've done that multiple times um, Hit sunrise surf and then uh night skiing either up at big bear or mountain high yep definitely have done that um okay let me tell you something man my name's brian Okay. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. You've been really cordial. You've been super cool. You're all about America. You're all about the Bill of Rights and Constitution, yep. which that's what I'm actually out here looking to do is making sure that everybody's okay with just people filming in public. It yep. is a little weird. I understand that. But weird is, is somebody's observation. What's weird to somebody isn't weird to another person. Right. To me, this is every day to me. I, I walk around with a camera on me. I, I go to the Walmart with a body cam on me. Right, 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 right. Smart. I mean, it's just the smartest thing to do now is to have camera wherever you go. That is very accurate. And But which to hear sad, you talk which is, about... Which is a sad statement in itself as well, right? Because, you know, we complain about the big brother state, right? You know, we compare. We complain yep. about the big brother. We, com we complain about, you know, everybody wants their, you know, their... Anonymity or whatever the word is. That's why I wear a mask. Um, but then, yeah, everybody's filming, right? Yeah. But unfortunately, in this day and age, with the lawyer vultures and 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 everything else, and in the uh, unfortunately with the unequal the unequal uh, application of the laws, you know, you you have to, because in this day and age. You know, so all someone has to do is make some sort of social media accusation and you're already tried and convicted. Yep. So um, that's why I came out here is because we we do, we are an American manufacturer. We're very patriotic. We, you know, we, we, we love our local police force. Um, we support our troops. And I'm not just saying this because of your hat or, or whatever else. Uh, this is who we really are. This is who we really are. These are our values. We're, you know, we're proud of our country. Um, proud to be an American. Proud to be an American with all its, with all its uh, dings and dents and faults. It's still the greatest place on earth. Yes, it is. So. Yes, it is. That's why I have to ask is because, you know, we do have some people who may not agree with uh, the way we see things or do things and, and you know they have made threats towards my company so that's why I come out here really to make sure everything's cool yeah absolutely absolutely that's that kind of amazes me man that somebody would actually make a threat against a CNC shop oh yeah oh yeah man we uh you know we we do things that are not What's funny is I used to be a CNC setup man 
like 30 years ago. So I'm a, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not, it's sad because we are not, uh, you know, the, uh, what's the word? We're not, you know, the California cool or, or whatever company, right? You know, you know what I mean? Like we have oil, we have chemicals, we have all this stuff that is, you know, pretty like a faux pas in California now. But the sad thing about it is, is if it wasn't for tool and die shops, if it wasn't for manufacturers and machine shops like this one behind me, none of all these little 1200 square foot homes that you could see to the horizon when you fly into LAX would exist. If it wasn't for World War II, and if it wasn't for all the manufacturing that World War II required, and all of the development and engineering that went on between Boeing, Lockheed, Grumman, all those huge aerospace companies, Southern California and its strong middle class would not exist. All these homes would not be here. It would still be orange tree farms and lemon and yep. you know the middle class and the tool and die and the manufacturing built built LA County and Southern California and for them to completely change turn their back on us is actually quite shameful it is so it is very shameful our but our government right now is probably the worst government we've ever had and I, I'm not afraid to say that no look I love my country I, I can't stand the people that are running it you know sometimes I can't stand the people locally Local level, state level, and politicians. Better, period. Yeah, look, you know, we we we've got a really, um, you know, we've had it so good, we've had it so good for so long. Everyone got complacent, including us. Yep. I don't want to bother with that. I got. I'm too busy doing this over here. You know, and uh, we kept we kept letting. You know, you'd hear some you'd hear some smart people say slippery slope, slippery slope, slippery slope. Well, guess what? All they did was do a little thing, a little bit at a time, a little bit at yep. a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit. Now look where we're at. Exactly. Now look where we're at. So, you know, we got to get involved at the local level. We got to get involved with school boards, like everybody says. We got to get involved in our local governments, you know, the, the local uh, municipalities. And, you know, if you don't show up and do something, someone else will. And exactly. look what's happened. Exactly. So. Well, it's been great talking to you. All right, Brian. You have a good one, sir. You too, man. Well, that was a great conversation with him. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you recording for? Uh, just doing a little documentary. Oh, on what? Can't tell you that the story would be ruined. Excuse me? It will be everywhere. We'll see it. You'll see it. Okay. I was just I was curious. I like black. Well good luck. Thank you. AT one 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 eight eight X E N five six nine. Oh yeah, just figure it out. Seven P O U six eight six. Five T K U two three two. C nine three three. Oh, no front license plate. Look at that. No front plate. Oh, cam back turn. Got a cam back.
with the gentleman over here at the CMD CNC shop. I'm just doing a little documentary, man. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, for like online, like YouTube, or I, I do have a YouTube channel. Yeah, right on, right on. Yeah, I mean, good luck with whatever. I don't, I'm not sure what, <laughs> what you're up to, but yeah. yeah, no worries. I'm not, I don't mean any ill will or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Just filming. Yeah. No, that's cool. I mean, I, I, I do filming too, but uh, yeah. I mean, I guess the, the people in there are just curious, too. Yeah, you got a bunch of Karens, it seemed like, in there. A bunch of parents? Karens. Oh, Karen. Yeah, a bunch of Karens. Oh. <laughs> ah, you can't film me in public? Oh, yes, I can. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're within. There's no expectation of privacy once you leave your house from behind your blinds. I can stand outside a house and film into it all I want, as right. long as I'm on public property. Right. So people don't understand that once you, there's no expectation of privacy whatsoever in public, right. unless you put a mask on and mask up. Right. That's the only way you keep your identity. T right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, as long as you're within, you know, as long as you know what you're within your right to do pretty much to film whatever you want long, long as you follow the constitution and the bill of rights right you can't get in trouble right but then you then you yeah. got the then you have do have the the cops that don't care about your rights and break them all the time right right yeah that's you know that's kind of the society and world we live in right yep so so yeah. i take a camera everywhere but wear a body cam to walmart yeah. where camera everywhere right Good luck with that, you know. Like whatever video you're putting up. Sure well, I'll tell you something. You can go on, look under LMN. LMN. LMN Constitutional Media. L LMN Constitutional Media. Yep. Okay. Lick my nuts. Yeah. LMN Constitutional Media. Okay. Yeah, I mean I'll check it out, dude. Let's see what's up. Well, there's a lot of us out here. More and more of us every day. Alright. Well, you have a great day. Look, there's the Karen right there that wasn't saying, Oh, don't film me in public. Don't film me in public.
actually had a great conversation with the owner of this CMD manufacturing, CNC manufacturing. If anybody's looking for a job, now hiring CNC setup man, now hiring CNC operator. sleeper berth that looks to be about maybe 75 inches putting over 2 million miles under my belt around the United States I well, hope everybody hope that was a good video Try to do a little fishing. We got one Karen to react, the owner of that CMD CNC manufacturing shop was incredible. Very nice gentleman. So this is LMN Constitutional Media coming to you this Wednesday morning here in SoCal. LMN Constitutional Media, out.